All right, campers, rise and shine. It's teapot time. Starting off with the handle. This is probably five or six pounds of clay. Um, normally I would pull a handle, but you know, for the sake of making everything from the same hump, I thought I'd do it this way. Also make a big round hoop handle. This is the spout. So I'm going to take this off and then pull it kind of like a handle to shape it more of a weird curvature, which you'll see at the end of the video. This is lid. I make two of these. I think it's always good to have an extra. I don't focus a lot of time on the bottom, uh, mainly because you're just going to trim that off. But <clears throat> basically, you're just pushing down, not exactly in the center, and that'll make that centerpiece rise up. And this is the main belly of the beast. Um, you know, basically just starting off with a cylinder and then rounding that off a little bit at a time. And then I do a four point choker hold. I call it the quadruplex. And then I've got this tool that will put a foot in the bottom from the Dirty Girls. I'm not paid by them in any way, but uh, they do make some cool stuff. And you'll see me taking stuff off of here pretty quickly. If it's something that you can get your hands underneath, um, you just want to kind of dry your hands off. And then you can just kind of twist as you pick up and it usually pops right off. You just don't want to wait too long after you cut it. So there's the tumblers, and then I'll make a couple plates, <clears throat> or saucers, if you will. And then after this, you'll see that I have a little bit of clay left. I didn't leave it in the video, but I make a small chuck for the trimming of the lids. So that's a nice thing to have if you don't have one. Um, you can just leave it on the bat, throw a small chuck when it gets leather hard, and flip over your lid and trim the bottom to fit the pot. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this teapot from the hump set video. Great.